uh, I gave three talks today and was on a panel. Two of the talks I gave were using reveal.js. And I wanted to show you how to make an easy reveal.js talk. I know Paul Everett was also using reveal and there's some other folks in, probably who used either reveal or reveal related technologies. But the issue with reveal, so actually go to reveal.js and look at the, um, the GitHub repository for it. It's not straightforward how to get going. It has a basic setup, a full setup, the full setup requires you to basically get clone the uh, reveal repository to your machine and then modify the pres default presentation that is sitting inside that reveal repository. <clears throat> I don't like this because I don't want to maintain uh, the full reveal source code. If I want to check my presentation into my own GitHub, it also makes it kind of tricky. So I wanted a way to be able to get the latest version of reveal each time I wanted to create a brand new presentation, or if I revisited an old presentation and wanted to basically make edits to it, I always grab the latest version of that. And I wanted a way to do it in a repeatable fashion, so I created a cookie cutter script uh, to do this. So if we go to GitHub and look at my GitHub, this is all available for everyone else to use. And under repositories, we can go to cookie cutter. And there is a cookie cutter dash reveal JS repository. So for those of you who are not familiar with cookie cutter, it is basically an easy way to template out the creation of boilerplate code for your site. So I put instructions on here. So you can pip install cookie cutter. You can then run cookie cutter with the URL to my um, GitHub. So we'll do that. So I made a cookie cutter virtual environment. I will run cookie cutter. And then what's nice is cookie cutter then asks you uh, questions. So I'm going to do, this is a demo of cookie reveal. And then, oh, for a conference. Well, this is the IndyPy Python web conf, and it's 2019. So it makes a presentation slug, which you'll notice all of my repositories get named with that presentation slug. I can put in my author name, my title, what company I'm with. And now if we look and go into 2019 IndyPy WebConf, you'll see that there is a new demo of cookie cutter reveal. Inside there is a slides.markdown. So I love doing markdown for all my um, text, all from all my slides. I don't actually edit any HTML to make these slides. It basically sets up the boilerplate for the metadata and puts a couple example slides, an example of a slide with the background in there. Now, if you want to actually run it, you're going to need to use the LCS version of uh, Node, LCS. And then you just type make. And make is going to actually download um, reveal, download all of reveal's dependencies, basically runs all the stuff that the full install would have had you do by default uh, to get going, <clears throat> but it does it all for you. And then you can actually run make start and it's gonna run an internal server allowing us to uh, view our presentation and live. And actually as you make changes to your presentation, it pushes those changes back up into our, um, our nice little web browser. <clears throat> so this should be ending here real quick. It sucks you kind of have to download Chrome every time you uh, build a presentation, but you know, I want to really use this to make my presentation. So actually another thing I use is Pandoc. So that's what converts my markdown into actual reveal. So if we look at our directory now, you can see I've got an index.html. Uh, and if I type make start, it will pop open. Crush fingers. There's our demo of, of cookie reveal with a slide one and slide two uh, ready to go. So if we look real quick at the, um, the make file, You can see I've got a theme. We've got the pandoc that generates our index.html. We've got the reveal dependency, the co compilation of our theme. So if you make changes to your theme, it actually does compile that as well. The start just runs npm start, but it has a dependency on the index.html being there and then clean. So if you want to check this, now you've made all your changes and you want to like check it into GitHub, you don't want to check in all the junk we just downloaded. So we'll do uh, not make Calvin, hello, make clean. And now we're back to the simple bit that you can do get in it, 
git add and then commit that into your repository as a thing you can now share as an artifact of your presentation. Any questions? <laughs>